guess what? I got the very first newly released Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate. If you are new here, my name is Kyla. And if you do not know what the Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate is, well, um, it is actually an upgraded subscription from Ipsy. Yeah. <laughs> so last month, I believe it was last month, they went ahead and let everybody know that they were going to actually have an upgraded box released for the month of October. Yeah. So everybody went ahead. Well, not everybody. Most people went ahead and signed up for it. So I'm not sure if there was a wait list, but it actually did say that I will be receiving the October Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate. <laughs> I keep saying that over and over again. But anyway, the Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate is a beauty subscription that you pay $50 a month and can receive up to eight full-size products plus four deluxe size samples. Oh yeah, that's a lot in a box. So last month I did mention that I will be getting this box, which I did receive, which you do know of. And I'm going to go ahead and open it for you all to see. Now, we're going to see if this is actually worth it. My opinion at this moment is I should have waited another month because eh, the box is a bit like meh, but it's okay. There's a couple of things in here I really do like, maybe more than a couple of things. But let's go ahead and get into this box. It's actually in front of me, so you see me pointing it's right here in front of me. So, the box looks like this. Well, hello. The ins now, it does look a bit beat up for a moment. <laughs> I think that has to do with the shipping. But here we go. Ta-da! Oh, something new finally. It says, discover yourself. Oh, yeah. I will. Now, we got a pamphlet, which we always get every month, and the theme of this month is called Flaunted, which I think I will. <laughs> All right, get up close for you. I do like the foam that is in this box. I don't know what it is, but I don't think it's as thin as the other foam has been, but it's a good foam. And I like the fact that it's a different color. Now, with the Ultimate, you will get a bag. Which, let me show you. Look at that. And, it's Betty Boop themed. I'm a Betty Boop fanatic. I grew up on watching that cartoon like crazy. I love the zipper. It's like a metal piece with a heart on it. Reminds me of one of my keychains. The inside is red, which is amazing. Now, I'm going to go buy the pamphlet here. Well, not just buy the pamphlet. I'm going to go ahead and pull a product out and let you all know what it is and how much it costs. So, I did receive, which is the first product or the first item, the Sayum, I don't know how to pronounce it, it's S-A-E-M, so hopefully if I'm not saying it right, you can all let me know in the comments down below. This is the A Natural Avocado and Shea Butter Mask Sheet Set. So, let's see if the price is on here. Whoa. Wait a second. So I thought the price would be provided. And actually, no. I'm not seeing a price whatsoever on this. Huh. That's weird. Well, that's sad. I say that there's going to be a price listed in with the products here, but there isn't. 
let's just hope they go ahead and put prices next month. That way I don't have to try to guess what the price is, but I'm not going to anyway. But like I said, I got two sheet masks and I'm very excited for that. All right, I'm moving on. <laughs> so for the second product is the Farrah brushes. This is the Midnight Pro Trio. You get three brushes. So it says here that these are 100% vegan and cruelty free. I think one is for foundation. The other one is for your cheeks. And one is for your highlighter or bronzer. So I actually cannot wait to use those. The third product I received is the Betty Boop Plus Ipsy Cheek to Cheek Blush Palette. Ooh, this is exciting. <laughs> Show you the packaging real quick. Here's what that looks like. You can see Betty Boop right there. Comes in a cardboard. Ooh. Well, that's... There we go. Okay. Looked like there was a hair in there. I guess not. But here's what it looks like. Let me go ahead and... Oh, it doesn't open all the way. So there you go. I think, I wonder if it has shade names. So I think the two blushes here are You're a Peach, All Dolled Up, and Heartbreaker. So I'm trying to think. You're a peach. Actually don't know which is which. I'm just going to guess it. <laughs> You're a peach. All dolled up. And heartbreaker, which is right here. I'm going to go ahead. Wow. They're not too creamy, but they're okay. They feel really soft. So you definitely get one matte uh, blush here. And a, I think, oh, and two shimmer blushes. So I'm going to, now the matte feels really silky. There we go. Can you see that? Now those are pretty, very pretty. I will definitely try to use those. I think that this one you can use as a highlighter. Yeah. So for the fourth product is the Luck Color Unicorn Glow Hydrating Primer. I wanted this last month, but I'm so happy I got it this month. So I'm pulling that out. That's a pretty good size. All right, I'm going to see if it's got a seal. Oh, yep, it's got a seal. I don't want to use this quite yet because of the fact I have a lot of primers open at the moment. But I can't wait to use that. Fifth product is the Huda Beauty Obsessions Eyeshadow Palette in Warm Brown. Now, this I wasn't too happy to receive because I already received it from another subscription. So, this one here is actually going to a friend of mine for the holidays. So, I will not be swatching these, but I will show you what it looks like. And Huda Beauty is actually a good brand. It's just not as good as most eyeshadow palettes I've received. Here are the colors. 
more of your fall colors, which I do like, but really not for me because I've already got enough fall color eyeshadows. So for the sixth item, well, sixth product is the BioRace Leo Hydrating Treatment Serum. I do not know how to pronounce this word, so I do apologize. But this is a serum. I do not know what the price is on here because it is not showing. This packaging looks really amazing. Really amazing. Now, I'm not going to open this quite yet because I already am using a serum at the moment. But I can't, and I mean I can't wait to use it. Maybe I will use it with my serum I'm using at the moment. And maybe that won't be a problem. We'll just see. Put that aside. Seventh product is the Ciest Moi Beauty Reflect Lip Gloss in Opulence or Opulence. I do not know how to pronounce that either. So here's the packaging. I really do love this packaging. Ooh, look at that. That is my kind of color. Let's try to open it. Ooh. Hmm. It doesn't have a smell. Well, I can't say this. The doe foot here kind of feels flimsy. It's kind of moving around on the lid here. So. Here's the doe foot. We're going to swatch it. Clear. A little bit of a shimmer. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply it on my lips. Hmm. Not bad. Hmm. I'll have to try it without lipstick one day. So not sure at the moment. I'm kind of mm, maybe, but yes, I am very obsessed with lip gloss. So definitely keeping that eighth product is the makeup geek highlighter in lit this is a product that i do not own whatsoever and i do not own the, any brand by makeup geek this is exciting <laughs> here we go look at that packaging Woo! all right Look at that. Mm hmm. I'm loving that. The packaging is amazing. Ooh, I'm so excited. Look at that. Trying not to blind you. <sighs> Prepare myself. <sighs> I'm going to put my finger in it and I'm going to swatch it. <sighs> but it's so pretty. Okay. Calm down. feels so silky smooth it's a little bit creamy smooth and very silky so look at that look at my finger wow that's subtle i'm gonna go ahead and swatch it one more time I guess you can actually build this up to make it pop. Can you see that? It's this right here, not the gloss. Look at that. Wow. I'm going to swatch it another time. <laughs> I'm being silly here. I'm just like, how much can I put on? Okay, put that on four times. I swatched it four times on the same swatch. Oh my goodness. We have to see how well this actually works out. For the ninth product, where are we at? Oh, I did pick this one for this month. This, I was very, very happy 
to get because of the fact I have owned this once before and was obsessed and loved it. It like basically blew me away. It was better than just applying coconut oil to my face to, rem to remove makeup. <laughs> and that is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. Look at that. Oh, yeah. This stuff is a miracle in a bottle for removing makeup. That's waterproof, any kind of makeup. And I have had stubborn waterproof makeup that cannot come off with just coconut, uh, coconut oil alone. So this is a huge, huge bottle for me. It's going to last me quite a while. Oh, yeah. Can't wait. Oh, reminds me. I will be using this anyway. Oh, my gosh. And it smells really, really good. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Your fingers, when you put your finger in there, it does start to melt. So it's not a hard consistency. The tenth product is the Colored Rain Cosmetics Eyeshadow in Champagne Life. I did actually receive a eyeshadow from the same brand last month. You can see and the one I got last month is going to a friend and this one is going to another friend for the holidays um, this color here is did it say might have already read it champagne life so I'm gonna go ahead and show you all that packaging bam Wow, she's actually going to love that. She might use it as a highlighter. The 11th product is the Eye Bum, which I do not know how to say that either. Lemon Verbena Clay Mask. And I got, this is actually a deluxe sample. There is not a whole lot of product in this, which I'm kind of upset about, but I will go ahead and try this out and see how it goes. If not, I'll end up giving it away, but here we go. Put that aside. Twelfth product is the Nanette Lepore Beautiful Times Perfume. Let me see if I'm saying it right. Yep, perfume. I ended up getting a perfume in my box. I don't know if it says what scent this is. Maybe the scent is called Beautiful Times. This is supposed to be a citrus and sweet smell. I am very, very sensitive to strong scents. Um, so is my husband, but... As long as it's able to settle down really, really quickly, I'm able to wear it. But if not, I also tend to break out, so I'm not sure. <laughs> but hopefully this smells really nice. Hmm. Which it actually does. It smells like citrus. Whew. But it is really strong. Whew. First off. I can definitely smell something like violet and really it has a really sugary smell like cotton candy yeah that's the smell I'm smelling so I'm gonna go ahead and read to see if I'm right on what I am actually smelling it says here that it has notes of mandarin I was right. Violet. Yep. And caramelized sugar that is lightly sweet and addictive. Well, it smells really nice, but it does not settle down too fast. It was really, it was just basically pretty strong. And I like it. Don't get me wrong. But I don't think it would be for me. But I do have a friend that will wear it and does love this kind of, does love these kind of scents. 
So she will definitely like this. I don't know about wanting to smell like cotton candy, but I know she does. And it actually smells quite nice, the perfume that she actually has. So I wish I can wear something like that, but I just can't. All right. Well, that was actually all that was in my ultimate. And like I said, I do like a couple to a few items that was in this box. And wish I did wait till the next month, which like I should have waited till November. But that's okay. I actually did say I was going to try this box out. I'm okay with it. I'm not too thrilled about this month. But I do know that I'm sure of that next month, which in November, it should be a better box. So hopefully, let's keep our fingers crossed that it will turn out a lot better. For the products that I did love receiving, that would be the Pharmacy Green Clean, the masks, definitely the highlighter, and I'd have to say the Blush Trio. Okay, one more thing. I will give this a try, but I was really excited to receive this as well. Well, I'm going to go ahead and log off of here. I am so happy you all stopped by to watch me open my very first Glam Bag Ultimate for the month of October. If you can, please go ahead and like this video if you want to, but you do not have to. Go ahead and subscribe. Once you subscribe, go ahead and hit that notification bell that's down below. That way you get notified of the next video. I can't wait to see y'all next time. Love you. Bye.